Well, new tonight for Toledo High Schools already have health centers located inside their building and TPS announced today the other two buildings will be opening a clinic. Our Madeline Watkins is live at Bowser High School tonight. Madeline, what can we expect with these new additions? Yeah, Kaylee, so these new health centers will be located right inside here at Bowser High School as well as Start High School. And there are three main things that I really want to point out within these health centers. The first one is it's free for all TPS students and their families as well as staff. Students will be able to get caught up on their routine visits. And most importantly, it'll keep the students healthy and in school. When kids get sick at school, it's not about, hey, mom, dad, come get them. It's about let us provide the care because we have the facility as well as the uh, personnel to be able to provide these cares. And what you'll find is many of the kids end up staying in school. TPS received $1.7 million from Health Partners of Northwest Ohio to expand the school-based health centers to all six comprehensive high schools in the district. One student who's visited the health center at Waite High School says it's more than seeing your average school nurse. And I built a bond with some of the nurses. Like, I'll come down, talk to Miss Shiloh, kick it up, ask her how her day is. And I just feel like it's a great bond and family and atmosphere here. Along with medical providers, all of the health centers have a behavioral health provider on site. Physician's assistant Kelly Sadowski says that means any kind of mental health needs the students have are addressed immediately. You know, if they come down, they're immediately given a screen to assess for depression and anxiety, and that is handled right where they are, um, which is huge because otherwise these kids might slip through the cracks and not get the treatment they need. School leaders say they will never turn someone away for an inability to pay for services. Dr. Durant says if further medical attention is needed, they'll make sure it gets taken care of. And so what we do is try to find a coverage that allows individuals, whether it's their own insurance that they do have or they may, not, they may be uninsured, uh, we work with the state as well as other medical departments to be able to work that out. And health partners of Northwestern Ohio will make sure that these school-based clinics will remain open for years to come. And you can expect these two new centers to open up sometime this fall ahead of the next school year. Live in South Toledo, Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.